Welcome to another episode of PC Building Simulator. In the last episode, we built a big budget PC for somebody to run Adobe Photoshop on. If you miss that episode and you want to go back and check it out, I'll put a link up in the upper right hand corner so you can go do so. Also, in case you missed it, or if you've been living under a rock or, or something of the sort, PC Building Simulator 2 is out. It is available only on the Epic Game Store, and I have a Let's Play going of that, so be sure to go check that out as well. With that being said, with PC Building Simulator 2 being out eventually, I don't know when, but eventually this Let's Play series will come to an end. However, that's not going to happen today, so let's hop in the email. Let's see what we have to work on here. Uh, let's do this one right here. It's due in two days. It says, can you help me out with something? I need some repairs. It's a bit of a mystery. Can you figure out what's wrong? My granddad thought that the PC needed oiling, and the results don't seem good. Can you do it in two days? I know used parts can be cheaper, but I'd like new ones, please. I think I clicked on something bad. So, not really sure what they broke. Probably the motherboard. Who knows what else? Uh, they got a budget of 250 bucks. Uh, that motherboard does not cost that much, so there may be some other broken things. I think probably what we'll do is wait for this PC to come in, find what's broken, and then order it and get it in. But we're also going to need to run a virus scan. So let's go ahead and accept that one. And then let's do a build. I thought I saw one. Dang, look at the budget on that thing. $7,750. Let's do this one for $6,750. That's a huge budget. It says, I hear you work with computers. Would you be able to build me a new computer? Got to hit 16,458 in benchmarks. Can you get that done in eight days? I think I want dual GPUs for the added performance. I can promise you you don't because... But that junk just doesn't work anymore. But anyway, if that's what you really want, <laughs> uh, maybe they're not using it for gaming. I mean, there's other things that multiple GPUs will do uh, other than just game. But anyway, I digress. I heard you guys put used parts in PCs. Please don't do that. Have you heard of MSI? They're meant to be pretty good. Hope you can help. Okay, so 3D Mark score of 16,458 and two graphics cards. And they want MSI stuff. Excellent. So we're going to accept that one. I'm going to get the shop opened up. I'm going to get some parts for this build, put in the shopping cart, and I will be right back. All right, for this build, we've got the MSI MEG Z590 Ace motherboard. We've got an i9-11900K. They said they wanted MSI, so we're going to pack this thing as full of MSI as we can. We've got an MSI MAG Core Liquid 360R. That's a 360mm AIO water cooler. Four sticks of Corsair Dominator Platinum. It is 16 gig, 3600 megahertz. We're going to put in two MSI RX 6900 XT Gaming Trio graphics cards. A Patriot Viper VP4300. That's a one terabyte M.2 drive. A Corsair HX1000. We actually didn't need a 1000 watt power supply. Unfortunately, most of the 850 watt power supplies didn't have enough plugs for the graphics cards. So we had to go with 1000 watts. We're going to put all that in the NWIN 303 MSI Dragon Edition. I haven't built in that case in a while. It'll be fun to build something in it. And then, again, for the repair, we will wait until it comes in, figure out what exactly is broken, and we'll order all the parts then. Okay, so let's buy this now. Did I accept... Okay, it's in transit. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Let's go in the day and get everything in, and we can get to work. Go to work. All right. So here's all of our stuff. Nothing from PC Bay today. Oh, wow. Uh, let's grab the sticky note here. And I'm going to get it put on this workbench. Oh, we did get something from PC Bay. One of these. One of these. Just this case. This NZXT case. Let's go throw this in the storage cabinet. See, that's the repair. This is our case for the build, so we're just going to put that here. And let's grab the repair. We'll get that here. It's a little case. Oh, it's the upside down, one of the upside down cases. Excellent. <laughs> uh, so we need to run virus scan, but we'll do that after we fix whatever is broken. Uh, because... His granddad felt like, or her granddad, I don't remember. Someone felt like they needed to oil this thing. So I'm not really sure what they oiled. 
<laughs> we'll have to figure it out. Could have gone into any of this. Let me get all this unplugged. These cables look blue. So hopefully we have some blue cables <laughs> back in here. Uh, let me get this graphics card out. I doubt that's broken, but we will see. The budget just didn't seem big enough for a broken graphics card. Um, I don't think it would have broken the CPU, but you just never know. You just never know. I'm going to pull out everything all the way to the motherboard. Or including the motherboard, actually. Let's pull the motherboard out of here. Um, it could be the power supply. I don't know. We're just going to start installing things. Let's check the motherboard first. It's broken. I do have a used one, uh, but they said they didn't want used parts, so we'll need to order a new one of those. What about the cooler? Cooler's fine. What about the processor? It's fine. RAM is fine. Graphics card's fine. Storage is fine. And we didn't check the power supply. Guess we should pull that out too. Uh, let's take a look. Just for fun. It's fine. Let's put it back in. Okay, so let's go order one of those. What is it? The GA something. GAAB350M. It's down here. It's the same thing. Oh, it's the 250M. I'm sorry. GAB250M. So the other one would have been an upgrade, but they don't want to use parts, so... <laughs> uh, let's see. ga dash b 250M, there it is. We've already got one in stock. Let's go ahead and purchase this for same-day delivery. Done deal. Done deal. Should be here. There it is. And we will get that installed in here. Let's see, motherboards. And we'll grab the new one. Very nice. And I'll get this ready for CPU and RAM. Let's grab the CPU first. We've got the i5-7600. Not a bad little a CPU. Uh, their memory, 8 gigs. Probably decent. Let's see. Storage. Perfect. Graphics card. All right, let me get some thermal paste on this CPU and get their CPU cooler, oops, CPU cooler back on. And then we can cable all this up. Let's see, they had some sort of blue. Some sort of a blue cable. I don't think it was ribbon braided. It was, maybe it was this, sleeved braided plain blue. Oh, that might be right. If it's not, this this is what they're getting. <laughs> I didn't see where they wanted their color of cable changed, so... Uh, hopefully that's it. Guess we'll find out. Alright, let me close that. And then I need to grab... Oops. A USB drive. Because we need to get the virus scanner on here. But before that, I want to hop into the BIOS... And see if they need XMP turned on. Does not look like it. No point in turning that on. We'll let this boot up. What? Formatting. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Let's go back into their BIOS. This must have been starting up from their hard drive. Oh, yes. What are you doing? Oh, there we go. Okay. Ho hopefully, hopefully we're on their hard drive. Or I mean, they're no. No, no, no. What is this thing doing? Can I please hop into the BIOS? And can I please boot from the SSD? Lord, help us. <laughs> there we go. Okay, virus scanner. Restart. That was a real pain in the butt. <laughs> Holy cow. 
Never had those issues before, but whatever. All right, let's scan this bad boy. 303. Clean those files up. Should be done other than putting the side of this case back on. Oh, I guess we need the PCI lock too. Let's do that. And the side panel. All right. So that's done. And we can go put this over here in the delivery area and we can get started on this build. To get what? 16,458 3D mark score. All right. All right. So for the motherboard, we've got the MSI MEG Z590 Ace. I will get that installed. It's a good looking motherboard. Let me get this thing ready for CPU, RAM, all the stuff. There we go. We are putting four sticks of RAM in here. But first, let's get the i9-11900K installed. Then we've got the RAM. Let's come down here. We've got this Corsair Dominator Platinum RGB in black. 16 gig, 3600 megahertz. We've got four sticks of that for a nice 64 gigs of RAM. I like the way this stuff looks. Nice looking RAM. Very nice. All right, let's get our storage. We've got the Patriot Viper VP4300, one terabyte with the graphene heat shield. Couldn't use the aluminum heat shield because this has its own cover. So there we go. Okay. Next, let's get some thermal paste on the CPU. And I want to go ahead and install the CPU cooler, which we've got another MSI part. It's the MSI MAG Core Liquid 360R. It's going to go right up here in the top. Excellent. Okay, we got to get this thing ready for two graphics cards. And we still need to get power supply in here. For the power supply, we've got the Corsair HX1000. And get that installed. And I think we just need to get graphics cards in here. So we've got two of these MSI RX 6900 XT Gaming Trio 16 gig graphics cards. Wow. So there's one. And there's two. Okay. So we just need to cable this up, and I think, because we're in a white case, let's just go with some white cables. Let's do these, the loose, plain, white. Yeah. Get this all cabled up. Nice and clean. What? Do you guys see this right here? where USBs are supposed to plug in. I never noticed this, but there's nothing there. I can see straight through. Look, there's the cables. In the top one. Plugging into the power supply. There's nothing there. They're all empty. <laughs> I never noticed that. You can see straight through all of them, except for those... Where, like, microphone and headphones maybe plug in. Uh, and you can sort of see through those. It's just there's something back here blocking it. But the rest of everything else, you can see straight through. That's crazy. That's crazy. I never noticed that. Okay. Let's get this case put back together. Because this is one of those that once you do everything, if you then put it together... It resets. So we need to put this glass side panel on at least, or it's going to reset on us. <laughs> we'll have to run 3D Mark all over again. Okay. Let me grab a USB drive. And I'm going to power this on. I do want to hop into the BIOS, and we're probably going to change some colors as well. Uh, let's go. What am I looking for? RAM OC. We're going to turn on XMP to get our 3600 megahertz. We've only got the one drive, so we're going to go ahead and let this thing boot into the operating system. And then 
we need to get 3D Mark, and I want to put the lighting app on. So we'll let this reboot. We may just leave it rainbow. Uh, it wasn't rainbow until we put the lighting app on, though. So that's still so weird that you can see through those. I never noticed that. I never noticed it. Okay. So I'm going to get 3D Mark running. And as soon as I have a score, I'll come back and show you. All right. So we needed a score of 16,458. We got 20,751. They should be happy with that. Even the CPU test did pretty dang good. Not bad at all. Okay, I think I'm going to leave this rainbow, but let's take a look at this. I think it turned out real nice. It's a nice, clean build. Not bad. Not bad at all. Okay, let's go put this over here and we can collect some money. Let's close this out. Let's do the repair first. Five stars. My PC died for no reason, but they fixed it and I'll come back again. Very nice. And then we've got this one. Five stars. I ordered a new PC and they did a good job. Cool. All right. Let's uh, clear out some of these red dots. PC Bay. Anything worth having. Dang, that's a good deal. That's a good deal. Don't know if we'll ever get around to using it. But you know what? We got money, so... Buy. <laughs> we'll buy it. I don't need these fans. I got more fans than I know what to do with. Let's take a look at the PCs we built together to sell on PC Bay to make some money. Uh, if you didn't see this episode, you should go back and check it out. We've got three days remaining. We're up to 449 on the first one, 1609 on the second one, and 1864 on the third one. So yeah, we're doing pretty good. Should make some decent money off of those. All right, again, PC Building Simulator 2 is out. I should have a couple of episodes up of a playthrough of it so far by the time you see this video. So go check those out. If you want to pick up PC Building Simulator 2, it is on the Epic Game Store. And if you want to help me out, you can use creator code BigJake901 at checkout. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't done so already, hit that subscribe button and ring the bell so you get notified as soon as a video goes live. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Stay safe out there, guys. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next episode.